Welcome to a day in my life as an Oxford student working in Argentina on my year abroad. Enjoy. <laughs> It's 6 a.m. The alarm's just gone off. Gives me about half an hour to get my bag ready, brush my teeth and get ready to walk to school. Ready to start the day. I tend not to have breakfast at this time just because it's a bit early. Um, but I'll give you a bit more detail about what's going on today in a minute. <laughs> Okay, now that I have packed my bag with my work clothes, well, yeah, walking 40 to 50 minutes in a shirt and a jumper is not ideal, so I tend to get changed at school. Um, so yeah, now that I've packed my bag and uh, sort of cleaned the room a bit, because the cleaning lady's coming today and apparently she's going to do my room. Um, so I just like to put things away so it's easier for her. Now that I've done that, I can tell you a bit more about my day today. Um, today's actually not really a typical day, but it's a really exciting day. Um, it's Wednesday and actually on Monday, I spent my whole day planning a Shakespeare workshop presentation because this week is International Languages Day. There's the Spanish Language Day and the English Language Day and also um, World Book Day as well as sort of the commem commemoration of Mark Twain's death because the school is called Mark Twain. So they also remember him. It's quite, he's quite helpfully placed in Languages Week, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so I did that on Monday. I've sort of prepared a bit of context on Shakespeare, what he did, the Globe Theatre. I'm going to read a couple of sonnets. We're going to look at those, not just his plays. Um, I also want to talk about sort of the adaptability of Shakespeare, how it is still relevant for modern audiences, um, as well as uh, at the end, to sort of liven things up a bit, we're going to do a bit of singing in the round, hopefully, which is really exciting. So I actually spent all of yesterday, Tuesday, doing these presentations to four different year groups. Um, today, I think I have one or two. Um, and then on Friday, I'll have one or two again as well. Um, so I actually spent my whole day yesterday doing that. Uh, but usually, I would be doing a mixture of sort of running classes, planning for classes, maybe marking some work uh, to help out, give some sort of some feedback from sort of a native speaker's perspective. I might be sort of covering classes or actually teaching them, depending on what's going on. Or I might just be at the back of classes and, you know, helping out with exercises and things, mainly in English language classes, but I've also done French classes. I've also done some Spanish literature classes, which is nice. But yeah, this week, a bit different. I've got a bit more exciting stuff going on. Oh, let me explain to you my working week generally. Uh, Monday and Friday, I work half days until 1 p.m. But throughout the rest of the week, so Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, I actually work the full day, 7.30 till 4.30, which is quite long. Uh, the students stay in school a really long time and that's actually why they don't get given homework. So yeah, they spend a really long time in school and I'm there the whole day on those days. So I help out at lunch and things like that. So the day is structured, 80 minute class, 10 minute break, 80 minute class, 10 minute break, another 80 minute class, 10 minute break, 40 minute class, 40 minute break for lunch, 80 minute class, 10 minute break, 80 minute class, and then they're finally done and so am I. Some of the other prefects, so the other sort of administrative helpers of the school have to stay a bit later if they start in the afternoon, but because I'm there the whole day, I can leave straight away, although I typically can't because there are no buses and I try and snag a lift off one of the teachers who's really kind. So obviously I can't really film much in school because it's a school, but um, I believe some of the teachers have been filming some of my presentations. So hopefully I can put a bit of that in and hopefully maybe during breaks I can film parts of the school when there are no kids around so you can see sort of the environment in which I'm working. And then when I get back, I'll give you a bit of a recap for how my day went. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, it is now 25 to seven, so I do need to set off walking to school, but I've been told by my students, absolutely not, many, many times, don't film with your phone in public. 
it will get snatched out of your hands. So I am following their advice and I won't film on the way to school. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Um, and I'm just excited to share with you the sort of stuff that I get up to. The literal second I leave the house and it starts to rain. So I'm getting a coat because I do not want to get to school soaked. Second time lucky and now a speed walk to school. Because I'm probably going to be a little bit late now. Oh well. Okay, I couldn't help it. But five minutes after I then leave my house with my coat, it stops raining. I mean, the Argentine weather is absolutely losing it right now. And so am I. But anyway walk is happening uh the walk is happening quite quickly as well to be fair so that i'm not late um unfortunately it's not a great walk it's sort of along a main street and then along like the ring road for a bit which is not great but oh well <laughs> times at 4 30 there's actually going to be a bus coming hopefully which i'm very excited about because usually i either have to sort of scrounge a lift or wait for an hour before i can go home which is a bit pants really uh today was a good day i am really quite tired i'll be honest um other than the two sort of shakespeare presentations um i also started marking some oral work that some of the students had done in preparation for their IB, International Baccalaureate exams in English. And because one of the usual prefects wasn't here, I was actually on lunch duty, uh, and it meant that I had to uh, sort of prevent chaos and a stampede for the tacos that were being served today in the lunch hall. So I just had to slowly let students in and make sure there were no crazy food fights or anything. I then had to make sure that all the people who were meant to be in gym class were actually in gym class. I rounded up about 12 of them. Maybe not trying to skive, but maybe trying to skive. And then I spent the last sort of bit of school after I had lunch in a French class where they'd done some videos at home, either in Portuguese or French, uh, which is a bit weird, um, explaining how they had made some typical French and Portuguese recipes, which was a really lovely way to end the day. So yeah, I'm gonna head home now and I will catch up with you there. Back home now and I'm just putting the laundry in. Um, typically when I get home from school, I'll do one of a few things. I might just sit down with a cup of tea and think about my day and think about the dinner that is coming. Um, if I'm tired, uh, I may, uh, have to go shopping. For instance, I would typically do that on a Monday or Friday when I've got a bit more time. Um, and what's the last option? What else do I do? So occasionally. Uh, I think about my, oh, the cat's back. I think about my uni work, but that happens very rarely. I will be completely honest. Um, and the last option is actually going for a run, which is probably what I'm gonna do today because I haven't done a lot of exercise in a very long time, but I am absolutely shattered. So I'm not too sure. I might just go out anyway, 
take it really nice and steady and, you know, chill out a bit. Ah, there's some stuff already in the washing machine. Okay, I guess I'll come back later. That's actually quite annoying because I really do need to do a wash. Um, but yeah, that's the last option, going for a run. And I think I probably will go today, even though I am very tired and I've had a long day. But, you know, we'll see. Okay. Well, very talkative today, aren't we? Are you hungry? I bet she's hungry. Oh, yeah, she's very affectionate today. Yes, she wants food, but it's not my job to give her food, so I can't really. Okay. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's the update from coming home from school. Um, yeah, I'll get ready to go for a run. It'll do me some good. Micro run completed, and actually, it didn't make me feel better. Runs always make me feel better. Uh, but it was so short that it's actually only six o'clock, and even for me, that's quite early to start cooking, and it's certainly not very Argentine to start cooking at that time. But I'm hungry anyway, there's no point having a snack, so I'm just going to start now. I'm going to whip up some rice. I've got some refried black beans that I made on Monday that I can heat up, and then that should be good. I'll probably have a bit of fruit for dessert, but... Uh, yeah, I tend to eat quite early anyway, just because waking up at six, I like having eight hours, so that means I need to be asleep by 10, which means I need to be in bed, chilling out by like nine for me. So it does help if I eat early and sort of start my evening quite early on, um, because then it just means I, I sleep properly, which is good. So yeah, I guess that is what I'm gonna get up to now. The problem with eating early is that when you finish, you really feel like a dessert. And here in Argentina, they are very good at making sweet things. Almost, and actually no, they probably are better than in France. Especially because you can buy like a brownie with dulce de leche, which is like the caramel spread and meringue on it and things like that. Like a solidly big one for the equivalent of pound seventy-five. So it's super tempting to just go out and get one and enjoy dessert, but that's not very healthy. So I'm restricting myself to a hot chocolate. Um, but yeah, it's only seven o'clock, so I'll probably chill out for a bit before having a shower and getting ready for bed. My evenings tend to be quite relaxed unless I sort of need to prepare any work for school or um, do some cooking. I mean, tonight I was basically just heating things up, so it went really quickly. But yeah, my evenings are fairly chill, which I like because after a full day of work, it's nice to sort of relax and wind down rather than being busy working on other things, I don't know. That's the thing about being at uni, is I feel as though I finish my day of study, I have dinner, and then I continue studying, which is not very enjoyable. Um, it never feels like I get a break. Whereas when I'm working in a job, it feels like when I get home, I can just switch off, which is lovely. So yeah. I forgot my washing. This is really the thing that I don't like doing. I mean, no one likes chores, but I really don't like doing this. Especially when it's time to have a shower and go to bed. But oh well, here we go. <sighs> Now, it may be hard to believe that I have had a shower, brushed my teeth, put some moisturiser on and I'm ready for bed at half past eight. But this is genuinely my reality. Sometimes it is a bit later because I'm just doing extra things. But tonight, I'm tired. I don't really want to watch TV. I'm probably going to read a bit and then I literally am going to go to sleep. It's quite nice going to bed early, but it kind of feels a bit sad. Um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is actually my day um, here in Argentina working on my year abroad. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about my day, about how I managed to withhold the desire to go literally two minutes down the road to a 24 hour fantastic bakery that sells incredible desserts. How I manage that, please stick them in the comment section below. I will get back to you. 
and subscribe if you haven't already because there is more year abroad content coming. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned.